Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Regina and if I sound a little depressed, it's because this is me. I'm always depressed. I just keep going every day, hating myself, you know, hating my body, hating everything about me and that's all I can say. Um, but I still pull through. Some days I get up and I work out and I try to stay, keep up with the workouts, but it's not all day, it's not every day. Some days I don't feel like doing anything. And then other days I'm like, all right, get up. You gotta get up and do something. You can't keep, you can't keep being here. I've lived here since I was eight years old. I don't think I've ever had a happy time in my life. I was always looking for better because it was always some type of shitty to me, you know? My life was always some type of shitty. And I've been looking forward to a better life for years. And instead of enjoying the one that I have, and I can't switch it off. Like, what is this? What is this depression? Why does this have a hold over me so strong? And I've tried to fight it off for myself. And I've tried to say, okay, let me seek for help, but people don't understand me. I don't know. Um, I've seen people with friends and, you know, just enjoying their lives in general. And I'm like, maybe I should try that. And I go out and I enjoy myself. And then I worry about what people thought because I was carrying on extra or I worry about what people thought of me instead of, yes, I did enjoy myself, but then I'm like, was I smoking? Was I drinking? Was I doing something to irritate somebody's eyes to have them have form an opinion about me? Uh, that doesn't concern me. I don't, I don't know. I'm just over here trying to diagnose myself because I don't know what is my problem. I'm annoying to myself. I annoy myself to death. I don't even want to be around me. So I really like to exercise in my room, but it's irritating. Every time I try to exercise in there, the floor is so slippery. I try to work out in my shoes and I still slipped. So even though it has more room and sun and all that stuff, I don't feel comfortable working out in my room. You see how I jump from talking about my depression to talking about my room and talking about that deodorant sitting on my shirt. I'm going to talk about that. I know my armpits are dark and my butt cheeks dark, my hands, the elbows, um, in between my thighs. Um, my face is hyper pigmented every time I get a blemish it does some ugly stuff on my face and that's me i'm i'm not organized just like my life i try to organize my house as much as possible because i like to find stuff that's the only way i know i will find what i need um i think i need a life coach but then you have to have a plan to go to a coach why would I need a coach if I had a plan? You know, it's just weird. And I thought doing my nails journey, because I love to do nails. If you know me at all, I am a nail tech. Um, this is just my personal life and my love for my daughter, my, my son's, you know, is unconditional and unconditional at the same time because I just want them to do better than me I don't want them to be here but then again they're almost grown people and they don't know where they're going I'm a grown-up I'm 40 I'm gonna be 41 this year August the 29th it's my birthday I turned 40 last year and I'm like yeah I'm gonna turn up and da -da -da -da. I stayed home and I did somebody's nails and I had a few drinks and sat on the couch with my husband and, you know, played with my kids and they fed me and it was, it was a nice day. And I'm not complaining about it 
But then I said I was going to turn up. And then, you know, when people are around you living that life, turn up life, and you see it and you're like, maybe I should live that life. Because, you know, they look so happy. And then I'm like, they look happy because they have the money to spend on that stuff. I can't even pay my bills. I can barely take care of my children. I barely get by. So, mm, I really hate my armpits. I need to work on them. I need to work on a lot of things, including my annoying depression. And being down on myself and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. I keep going on and on. It just, it's like a circle. My life just rolls around in a circle. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one going through this. That's why I'm recording it and I'm uploading it. I don't even care anymore. Because if somebody, one person can help me. Because I'm not even like, okay, I say I want friends. And then... I have somebody come and we talk a little bit and they just and that their life that they're living is way separate from mine. You know, they have time to go out and that's what you have to do when you have friends. You have to have somebody who wants, who goes out and you go out with them. You have to actually get to know that person. And since I'm always in the house and I don't talk on the phone to anyone, I sit on TikTok most of my time trying to, you know, edit my videos and uh, worry about sit and trying to see a sign of something that can help me and I never get help and it keeps going year after year time after time and I'm just depressed and I don't know if I want to continue on like this this is not living I'm not living, I, I, I'm just existing and I hate it. I, I, I hate myself and I don't hate myself. You know, it's weird. I hate the person that is this person talking right now. But I love the person I see. She's not perfect. But I still care about her. She has a big belly that people made fun of her her whole life about I didn't make myself you know and I I feel so horrible you're walking around everybody else as teenagers have a flat stomach and yours it looks like you're four months pregnant you walk around as a child everybody has flat stomach and you look like you came from somewhere where you're being malnourished and starved Because you were born that way. I've never had a flat tummy. It always was up in my chest. And I see why people do surgery. Because if I had the money, I would have done it a long time ago. Just because of other people's view of you. When they mess with you, they mess with you. Because you're already loathing on yourself. And other people had into it make you feel worse. And I just, I don't know. I just started talking and now I'm crying. And I am happy I'm on here working out. But at the same time, I'm like, what's the point? I'm not losing any weight. My stomach is still big. I've been doing this for months. I still feel hungry. I still want to eat ice cream and food and drink. And ah, uh, be miserable, wallow in self-loathing, all that stuff. Ah. Uh.